as always, using the Canon 60D. I just smacked myself with the beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. And if you want to see the come along with me, that's right. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy R. Allen Ingalls. Good morning. I am at the University of Memphis Lambeth campus in Jackson, Tennessee at my first event, True Blue Day. As always, I'm using the Canon 60D body with the 24 to 105 millimeter F4 L series lens. I've got my flash attached just in case and the battery grip and black rapid strap. Let's go take some pictures. I don't normally take my flash to outdoor events, but this event is in the shade, and so I might need an extra kick of light just to get some light on the faces. This school's mascot is the Tigers, and they have a really cool tiger statue right out in the middle of the quad. I got a couple of really cool photos of it. I just finished up my last VIP event of the day, and I'm backing up the photos I took as I always do before leaving an event. The event was Clip for a Cure at the Regis Salon in the Old Hickory Mall in Jackson, Tennessee. An event to help raise funds for cancer research in honor of October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And as always, I had my black rapid stripe on with my camera hanging down by my waist as I walked through the mall to get to the salon to photograph the event. And that's when I was stopped by security. Apparently, you cannot take photographs in the mall. I said, so all of the people who take selfies in the mall, the employees, customers, those who go into the dressing rooms and take pictures of their outfits, none of those people are allowed to take photos? And the response I got was, well, I don't know to what extent they enforce it, but you're not supposed to take photos in the mall. What's the difference in those people taking photos with their cell phones and me taking a picture with my Canon DSLR. I argued the fact that my iPhone 6 Plus might actually take better photos than my Canon DSLR, an argument to which two different security guards actually agreed with me, yet I was the one being stopped and questioned. A head security officer or supervisor was called over the radio to come talk to me about the situation. He asked if I had permission to shoot photos in the mall, to which I responded I didn't know I needed permission. And if permission was needed to shoot photos in the mall, it should be up to the client that asked me to come shoot photos not myself to get that permission. He then escorted me to the salon in which I was supposed to be shooting photos in and then proceeded to ask the manager of the salon if they had gotten permission for me to come in and shoot photos in their salon. Since I was shooting this event for VIP Magazine, I am considered a part of the press. I'm not taking pictures just for the heck of it. I'm actually shooting events for journalistic purposes. I guess the mall and the parking lot are private property and they can make up whatever rules they deem necessary. I'm not sure what rules apply to the press when shooting on private property for journalistic purposes, but in any case, I was allowed to cover the event and shoot my photos. But I never was given an answer as to why I cannot take pictures in the mall. I get it being in the press or not, it's private property. And the old Hickory Mall has the right to put any rules in place that it deems necessary. However, if you're going to do that, make sure that you educate your security guards as to why certain rules are put in place so that when questioned, they don't look like idiots and you, the mall, don't look like a big jerk for putting in place and enforcing what seems to be an unnecessary rule. Being a member of the press, I'm a bit biased at when and where people should be allowed to take photos. We should be able to document life around us in either a vlog such as this or in photographs for journalistic or historical purposes. Should you be allowed to take photos in a mall with an iPhone, with a DSLR? What's the difference? Both can take just as equally good a photo as the other these days. What makes one different from the other? And what does it matter? You should either be able to take photos in a mall or not, no matter what kind of camera it is. But enough about what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And now it's on to a place that welcomes my kind, McDonald's. To write the articles, process the photos, upload them to VIP, and grab a late lunch. I have now eaten lunch and dinner in McDonald's today. <laughs> But I got all my work done and I'm about to head to the comedy club. Before I do that, I'm going to do two things. Number one, tell you about today's song of the day. Tessa Violet has a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kitty, And she got pretty popular on the channel doing funny and crazy things. And she's also a musical artist. She moved to Nashville to pursue her career in music and released her debut album this year, Maybe Trapped, Mostly Troubled. And on that album is our song of the day, Make Me a Robot by Tessa Violet. To check out today's and every day's Song of the Day pick, go to the A Beautiful Life Song of the Day playlist on Spotify. You can find the link in the description below. And number two, see if Best Buy has the external Apple SuperDrive in stock. My MacBook Pro is nearly five years old and the SuperDrive is starting to add up a little bit. Rather than actually repair it because it's way out of warranty, I'm just gonna get an external because in the next few years, I'm gonna be getting a new MacBook Pro and the new ones don't come with a SuperDrive built into the laptop. 
so I'll be needing the external one anyway. They carry them, but they're sold out. Oh well, on to the comedy club. All right, it's showtime at the South Street Comedy Club. Tonight I'm filming Damon Oakley and Ambrose Jones. My name's Harvey. Thank y'all for coming out. We've got a great show for you. Let me tell you who we got. We had some folks show up unannounced as well. So here's who's on the lineup tonight. Ricky Franklin is here, Henry Coleman, Damon Oakley, and Ambrose Jones. Four very funny guys. Y'all clap for them coming to Jackson. Oh yeah. Another fun night at South Street Comedy Club has come to an end. And now I'll be headed home to back up, convert, and edit some footage, and then go to bed. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.